Hey guys, and welcome. Thanks for joining me. If you're watching this, um, you probably saw me on YouTube tell you to come watch me here so I can tell you more about my daily life here in Mexico through these Instagram stories. And if you already follow me, then well, hi. Maybe if I get enough of these put together, I'll be able to put them all together into a little video and put the whole video on Instagram and upload it to YouTube and have little Instagram stories. Uh, so I went yesterday to this bakery to get a bunch of little, by the way, my little coffee order. And uh, all the pastries kind of sucked, except for these things. These things are so good. They're little cheese balls. I'm, I mean, I gotta go, I'm eating them all now so I can go get more. Yes. Ugh, it's fucking killing me. But anyways, new upload coming soon. Got the fan going. Got a little, you see a little space in between there. So that way you can get the airflow. Got the fan. I walk here through here every day, kinda. And look what look they have going on here. Some sort of festival. Oh, never mind. It's a presidential thing. back here for round three at Sears. See if I can get these phone situation fixed. Fuck, it's extra hot today. I think, but I don't feel like everyone else is extra hot. I think it's just me. I think it's because I had a lot of coffee and those little cheese things. Fuck it, it's worth it. I think I want one of those phones. All right, well, I just got informed I gotta go to the actual AT&T store. Ugh, and it's actually far away from here, so I gotta do that. And I'm not gonna do it today, because I don't got time. I actually have a date tonight, and it seems like there's gonna be a lot of traffic in the neighborhood. I don't know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do while I get some AC in here, and everyone's looking at me all weird, but anyways. Um, yeah, I'm gonna walk back and get some pastries and recoup. God, I'm fucking, this is a bad idea to have breakfast. <laughs> Well, at least the good news is that she told me, yeah, don't worry, just take the phones down there and I'll take care of it, no problem. So I was like, all right, good, thank God. So, like, seems like it's a common thing. So, that's, that was good. All right. See you later, alligators. So, uh, yeah, this is normally where I catch the bus out here. And if you notice, the bus is. Hold on. Still, the bus is there, kinda. Anyways. No bus. There. So it's starting to fucking rain. I'm on my way home already. Um, hopefully I can make it back in time. I think I'll be all right. Anyways, walked it off, feel better. Um, got a lot of shit I gotta do. So anyway, my fucking timing. I actually have a date tonight and um, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do because I'm guessing traffic is gonna be fucking hell out here tonight. So I'm gonna have to walk and I'm gonna be sweaty and I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm gonna do. Maybe I, I don't know. I got my have to leave early. Fuck. So 
So I asked one of the people that's working this thing, um, seemed important, and he's like, hey, well, so I asked him, what's going on here tonight? It's like, it's, so it's like a viewing party because there's an actual presidential debate happening in town. It's just close to the public, uh, like the ones in the States for the most part. And it's happening on the other part. And it's happening on the, o- in the other side of town. And he said that the whole thing starts like around 9 p.m. So, yeah, I got to gauge the time around there. So I think I'll be all right. And I got to be there by 7 or leave or whatever the hell. Yeah, so every day when I walk out there, it's about five kilometers, maybe a little more, but around five kilometers, give or take, back and forth. So it's really good exercise. I feel a lot better. I sweat it all out. Digested those uh, fucking balls of cheese. I couldn't get any more of the f- Also, hey guys, I know you fucking hate this angle, but I can't really shoot like this because it doesn't work for the Instagram stories, and it's like I can't do both. You know, I gotta do one or the other. So, yeah, you know, hope. Whatever. Deal with it. <laughs> Two hours later, still uploading. Why does this fan keep dying? The fuck is going on? Yeah, I had it unplugged. Fixed now. Sorry, I'm fucking retarded. All right, guys, I hope you're liking the little story thing so far. I'm gonna jump in the shower because I'm sweaty as fuck, I'm tired. And I got a date tonight, and, um, well, you guys already know that. And hopefully this thing will upload in time. So just to recap, if you made it this far in my Instagram stories, um, I'm going to be doing these every day, um, and that's it. You know, some days will be longer, some days will be shorter, but regardless, I'm going to see if I can make a little video out of this, and then, again, YouTube it, Instagram it for you guys. Fuck, right? As I was jumping in the shower, I realized this thing ran out of water, so I got to go out and fill this up real quick before I shower because otherwise I'm just gonna get all sweaty again. <laughs> so I just got back from getting the water and they were charging me $29. And so I was like, I um, got in a friendly little discussion with the guys like, hey, why is it $29 all of a sudden? And when it was 14, it's always been 14. By the way, I'm soaking wet because it actually started raining. But anyways, yeah, I had to come back, get more money and go back. And then still he was like, well, no, the people that deliver the water, this 14, but if you come get it, it's 29. Regardless, the reason I confronted them was because, like, I felt that they were, you know, trying to jip me or trying to get a couple bucks out of me. And after the whole fucking thing, they were like, hey, so where are you from? Spanish? I'm like, no, I ain't Spanish. I'm Cuban. They're like, oh. So, anyways, regardless, um, I'm going to figure out what the delivery thing is because, obviously, I'm not going back there. If I can get a delivery of 14, right? Hey, so my date just... Uh, Texted me and she told me that she got called into work. So no date. Well, I am gonna have a date with some tacos. Hell yeah I think I'm just gonna head out in a little bit because I forgot that Thing the presidential whatever the hell is happening out there earlier later today. So I definitely don't want to be caught in no traffic or mess of people or anything like that So I'm on my way back. Look at all this. Look at all this grub. It's heavy. Six tacos, a hamburger, and three hot dogs. 78 pesos. Plus two dollars tip. So 80. So I guess you know the whole thing was. I guess the thing on the website was right. You can't get a really good meal for 80 pesos from a street cart. By the way, I've been to that cart. It's fucking awesome as fuck. I'll show you a picture before I eat. Okay, so you can see everything I got. It's fucking awesome. I'm hungry. Seriously, it smells so good, I keep making little videos because I'm trying to distract myself because I just want to fucking sit down on the floor and eat it. It's how fucking good it smells already. All right, I forgot, the bus ride. So the bus ride was eight pesos one way and eight pesos the other way. So about 100 pesos for the whole thing. And again, I got on the bus and got off the bus. Like It was just like walking, like seconds. So yeah, that's how you catch a bus here. You just walk down the street. As soon as you see a bus, you wave it down. You get on it. That's it. Simple as that. Okay, so quick review on the food. The tacos were great. Amazing as always. Um, the hamburger, eh. The hot dogs, pretty good. The hot dogs had all these weird condiments, but they, they tasted like, you know, that sweet onion 
relish, you know, the one that's brown. That's how it tasted, minus the sauerkraut. I had some hot, so hot sauce that I put on there and I put on, uh, on top. It tasted almost like the New York hot dog, but not quite, obviously. The hamburger, on the other hand, that shit was awful. <laughs> it was pretty good. It had like ham and onions and like all these condiments, but the burger, it tasted really weird. And then eventually, like I looked into it and it was red. It was like a red meat. A red, it was weird. Red meat. All right, guys, last little video of the day. So um, please like, please subscribe, please share, please tell your friends. Let's keep this going. Hope you guys are enjoying Mexico, and I'll see you guys mañana. Nighty nights. Peace out.